Hello, and welcome to the Mysteries of Sakura, the definitive deep dive into the beloved Street Fighter character. Today, we'll be exploring the many facets of Sakura, from her close-knit group of friends to her dark and powerful alter ego. Join us as we uncover the secrets and hidden depths of this dynamic and complex fighter. So get ready to take a journey into the unknown as we uncover the many mysteries of Sakura. Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Fighterverse. Sakura Kasuga's initial concept of her design was created by Street Fighter's Akira Akima and Yasuda, mostly known for creating most of the Street Fighter roster in Street Fighter 2. In the early stages of developing the Street Fighter Alpha 2 game, Akira Yasuda was called to share his insight in the development of this project. He offered Sakura as a character, and the Street Fighter Alpha team were not impressed with the character. This event rapidly bummed out Akira Yasuda, but luckily after going back to his desk, his boss passed by and loved the design of Sakura, which led to the inclusion of Sakura in the Street Fighter Alpha 2 game. Never expected that a character like Sakura was ever going to be cancelled, she is one of the most beloved Street Fighter characters in existence. In the early stages of Sakura's design, she wears a kimono shirt and hakama pants, traditional attire from Japan. Later in development, it was changed to a Japanese sailor outfit. Akira Yasuda's inspiration was based on the school type characterization that was popular at that time. It is said that the creation of Sakura's clothing was inspired by Sailor Moon. Being popular in Japan and in many parts of the world, Sailor Moon is an anime and manga written and illustrated by Nako Taikuchi. The series follows the adventures of a schoolgirl named Usagi Tsukino as she transforms into Sailor Moon to search for a magical artifact, the legendary Silver Crystal. She leads a group of friends the Sailor Soldiers, or Sailor Guardians, in which they change the name in later editions. Sailor Moon and the Guardians battle villains against the theft of the Silver Crystal and the destruction of the Solar System. Akiman Yasuda is known to find inspiration from diverse places. It is said that part of Sakura's creation was inspired by Black Widow, a character from the video game franchise Slam Masters. It is also said that one of the early concepts of Sakura was a biker girl, which was rehashed and made into Akira from rival schools. Coincidentally, Akira Kasama herself would become playable in a Street Fighter game, starting with Street Fighter V Champion Edition as a DLC character. Sakura's type of attire is called a seifuku in Japan. The Japanese school uniform is modeled in appearance similar to that of the European-style naval uniforms. It was first used in Japan in the late 19th century, replacing the traditional kimono. Today, school uniforms are common in many of the Japanese public and private school systems. She also wears red Converse-style shoes, a midriff bearing red top under her uniform, red sparring gloves, a yellow neckerchief, and a white headband that was given to her by Ryu before the events of Street Fighter Alpha 2. She has short brown hair and brown eyes. Her fuku is blue with single white linings on each side and white socks. In Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter X Tekken, her socks are shorter and their color is navy blue. Her school uniform becomes her nostalgia costume in Street Fighter 5. In her ending in Super Street Fighter 4, her hair is slightly longer. She wears a red high neck sporty jacket with a single line at the center, a white short sleeve undershirt, black shorts, white socks and white sneakers with matching designs. She also maintains her white headband. In Street Fighter V, Sakura wears a different outfit that consists of a navy blue vest with a pink trim, a white long sleeve button shirt underneath, a pleated skirt with frills at the edge, black mid-length socks, and black short-looking boots. Her tie is long, and the colors are pink and white, and is tied at her midriff bearing top. Like Ryu says, her headband is red along with matching gloves with a stylized written on the white lines. She also has a head microphone in her left ear. Sakura is a highly energetic, outgoing, and hardworking character who takes her martial arts very seriously. She is highly competitive, especially with Street Fighter character Garin Gansuki. You can see many of their rivalries in Sakura's Ganbaru manga, 
and Uran Comics Street Fighter Legends Sakura Editions. Sakura has a noble soul with a determined perspective from her classroom obligations, as well as her martial arts training. Due to her charisma of innocence and her sincere attitude, Sakura has gained the admiration and friendship of many, including her best friend Kei Chiyotsu and other of her close friends Inata, Natsu, and Shoma. She is a huge fan of Ryu's fighting style. Her fighting style is inspired by Ryu since she imitates everything that he does from a fighter's perspective and philosophies in the battle arena. She manages to balance her schoolwork with her training in hopes of being accepted as Ryu's student and prove herself by fighting worthy adversaries. In a clean match, Sakura is a very patient and disciplined warrior. She is the embodiment of innocence and is acknowledged by many fighters to have great potential that may one day match Ryu and Ken in strength when she gets older and skilled. Sakura's fighting techniques, as stated before, is similar to the style of Ryu's and Ken's. She can effectively gather chi energy. Sakura can perform the Hadouken like Ryu, but not as extensive as him due to her lack of formal training. She can control the size of her Hadouken to an extent, sacrificing distance for power. Her Hadoukens can be three times as large as her normal Hadoukens. She also uses the Shupunkyaku, a shorter version of the Tsatsumaki Sepunkyaku. The difference between the two is that, for example, Ryusu's Tsatsumaki stays constant in the air, while Sakura's descends in an arc motion pattern. Another one of her techniques is the Shoukuken, a copycat version of the Shoryuken. While most of the Shoryukens are made from a standing anti-air point, Sakura performs it by running and throwing body blows, ending the combination with an uppercut. In her appearance in Street Fighter EX3, she gains two unique Meteor combos. First is the Nagetsu Hadouken, in which she fires a massive pink Hadouken, which is several times her size, exceptionally fast, and does more damage than any other projectile attack in the game. The second is Genki Ichiban. She tiptoes towards her opponent, and points and laughs. In Street Fighter V, her critical art is the Sakura Rain, where she shoots Hadouken to knock her opponent. As she strikes her pose, she hits her opponent with a powerful Shunpunkyaku and punches hard to the opponent's groin, followed by an uppercut to knock them down. Her punch and uppercut to her opponent nearly resembles a slower version of Ryu's Metsu Shoryuken. The first in our list is Kei. Kei Chitose is a close friend with Sakura who attends the same high school. She sometimes goes along with Sakura on her adventures, but more often than not, fails to keep up with the energetic Sakura, Dan Hibiki and Blanca. Since Dan was her sensei, Sakura respects him as both a friend and a teacher. However, this friendship is double-sided because she often uses him to find Ryu whenever she needs to. In return, Dan boasts her as one of his star students, perhaps helping him give Saikyo Ryu some credibility. Both are on good terms with each other, regardless. Ibuki Both being high school girls, Sakura and Ibuki have been able to hold a close relationship with one another. This is mainly because of the latter's interest in boys, and that Ibuki had never met someone so cool that is also within her age group, allowing the two to get to know one another easier than with older fighters. It was thanks to this that Ibuki got the attention of Garin in Street Fighter V. Alina. Alina and Sakura are seen as friends due to being roughly the same age and because both girls share a kind-hearted, tomboyish personality. They both share the same views about fighting and combat, making their friendship easygoing without trouble. According to Alina's arcade ending in Ultra Street Fighter 4, it was thanks to Sakura that she got to know more about Japan and planned to go back to meet her again. Hinata, Natsu, and Shoma. Like Kei, Sakura and all three students are high school friends, though all three students are from separate schools in the same area as Tamagawa Minami High. When Sakura is challenged by Garin in Street Fighter Legends, Sakura, they help her train as well as catch Garin cheating in the hot dog eating contest and take out Garin's bodyguards. Sakura is mostly seen with Inata and Natsu in some screenshots where they are seen eating desserts at the coffee shop and leaving the school together in the games ending in Neketsu Seisyung Niki 2. Akira. The two are acquaintances, having known and battled each other during the Taiyo High School incident and through other students, such as the aforementioned trio. In particular, Sakura helped train Akira while the latter was pretending to be a boy attending Gedo High in order to be strong enough to save Daigo. Akira can also appear in Sakura's bad ending in rival schools united by fate. The two meet up again with the help of Karin, and Sakura gets to introduce Akira to Ibuki, who had also been invited to the Gansuki estate. 
Kami. Even though there has been no example of an in-game friendship beforehand, Kami and Sakura have been close friends, as Kami has been shown to deeply care about her. This started in the second volume of Sakura Ganbaru, during Street Fighter Alpha 2, as the first volume takes place roughly before the game's events. When Kami was an amnesic, after defeating from Shadowloo and Sakura interfered with an assassination attempt on the former. After that, they traveled alongside Dan and Chun-Li to Russia, where they tag team against Sangeef in a cage match, before going their separate ways. From then onwards, Kami and Sakura are still friends and have a friendly rivalry during battle, as shown in her win quotes against each other in Street Fighter 4. Karin. After their first fight in Sakura Ganbaru, both women have sparked a rivalry, similar to Ryu and Ken's rivalry, because of Karin's first loss in a long-lasting winning streak, briefly making avenging her own defeat a personal vendetta. However, once Karin won their rivalry match in Street Fighter Alpha 3, she admitted that Sakura is indeed better than her, and that she only won by luck. After that, they became close friends as well as continuing their friendly rivalry. In Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, Karin invites Sakura to the Kansuki estate to have a match. Sakura wins, but then asks Garin why is she still picking fights. Garin responds with the fact that fighting is the best way to test skill. Sakura then dismisses the idea and ponders if spending time growing in strength is the best way to go about things. Karin then asks Sakura if it would be different if she was fighting with Ryu. She calls fighting with Ryu a different story. Karin then calls Ryu and tells him to go to Sakura's house and enlighten her. Ken Masters Similar to Ryu, Sakura sees Ken as an inspiration for street fighting. Although she holds Ryu in a much higher regard, she still thinks highly of Ken. In Street Fighter 4, the ties that bind, when Sakura showed up to his house and beat up his bodyguards in hopes of finding Ryu, who she couldn't find at that time, Ken was shocked that his stalker couldn't find him herself. Ryu Ryu is Sakura's main inspiration for taking up street fighting and deeply admires him like a childhood hero and role model. Like Ken, she's willing to put her own well-being on the line to help Ryu, as shown in Street Fighter Alpha 3, where she was willing to fight M. Bison to protect Ryu, and again in Street Fighter 4, the ties that bind, where she stops Ryu, who was under the influence of the Satsui no Hado, from killing Sea Viper. When she heard about the disappearance of skilled fighters, she immediately flew from Japan to America, so she could ask Ken where Ryu was. In Street Fighter 5, although her motivation for street fighting diminished over the years, just the mention of Ryu gets her excited as always. Chun-Li and Sakura also have an amazing friendship. They have been seen fighting guards in the Street Fighter 4 anime. Dark Sakura, also known as Sunburned, Sun-Tanned Sakura, originates from the Marvel vs. Capcom series, first appearing in Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, as a secret fighter. This is a form Sakura has taken after accidentally being burned by the sun, gaining abilities similar to users of the Satsui no Hado, except without the loss of humanity. Dark Sakura's appearance is generally the same as her normal counterpart, albeit with darker shade on her clothing. Her bloomer shorts are black instead of the traditional red. Her red hair gains a red hue similar to that of Vakuma's, and her school uniform is black and gray, rather than the traditional blue and white. When she uses the Shun Goku Satsu, her eyes change from brown to red. The fighting gloves, headband, and shoes remain the same. In Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, Dark Sakura is a secret character who utilizes a mixed moveset between her normal self and Akuma Evil Ryu, including performing the Hadouken horizontally instead of diagonally. Though Dark Sakura isn't a playable character in Street Fighter Alpha 3, she is referenced in the Japanese versions of the game. During her summer vacations, Sakura trained with Ryu on a tropical beach, learning many new techniques and getting tanned. Taking a break between matches while in the Marvel Universe, Sakura laid down in a field and fell asleep. When she awoke, she found herself unusually sunburned for the short duration that she had laid there. Though slightly in pain, she proceeded to compete in the effort to defeat Apocalypse. However, not only did she find that her original fighting style had returned, but she was also even more powerful than before. Over the course of the events, her sunburn faded, and her fighting abilities returned to the way they were when she first arrived. This is the story of Sakura and Akuma. It starts in the Udon comics, Super Street Fighter Volume 2, Hyper Fighting in the round one section named Dark Sakura. The story starts in a very dark setting. Akuma is fighting with Sakura. As he throws a punch at her, Akuma says, I have always known that, like Ryu, the dark Hado resided within you, Sakura. Now, show me if it has awakened. Show me, as I have sensed, 
the seed of Satsui no Hado within you has germinated. The Satsui no Hado is the surge of murderous intent and is often called the Dark Hado. It is a dark energy-based force, the same force Akuma uses to garnish his powers. Akuma's only purpose in life is to find fighters strong enough to fight with him, even if he must awaken their evil being for the sake of his purpose. To think that Sakura might awaken her dark Hado is unimaginable. As they are fighting, Akuma misses his attack to Sakura. While dodging his attack, she replies, Never, Akuma. Master Ryu taught me better than to listen to anything spouting from your mouth. Sakura tries to punch Akuma and comes short. Akuma grabs her hand and throws her into the air. While throwing Sakura into the air, Akuma says, You have the same potential that Ryu possesses. Perhaps even more if you could only accept the truth wholeheartedly. The manipulation from Akuma's words, as he is trying to convince Sakura that she can even be more powerful than Ryu, sounds very familiar to the Star Wars, Darth Vader and Luke scene. When Vader tries to convince Luke Skywalker to join the dark side of the Force, as Sakura lands on the floor, she understands the heavy pressure she is in. So she says to Akuma, you don't know anything about Ryu. He is twice the fighter you will ever be. In insight, Sakura tries to manipulate the situation to her favor by telling Akuma he is inferior to Ryu, a very classic tactic to break her opponent's concentration. Akuma knows this, and as she tries to take momentum and attack, Akuma blocks her hit and says, You have grown strong under your master's tutelage, but you must have moved beyond your blind obedience to his teachings if you wish to ascend to a higher level. As he punches Sakura in the stomach, he says, It is time for you to step out of Ryu's shadow and embrace the power he has been too naive to acknowledge. Akuma says words he lives by. The same situation happened with him, with his former master, Gotetsu. He left his former master and his brother in order to search for his ultimate power. The only goal in Akuma's mind is ultimate power by any means. Akuma keeps on beating Sakura, to the point that he starts to question himself about Sakura, as he replies, Perhaps I was wrong, and you're not yet ready to be enlightened by the Dark Hado. Perhaps you are weak, just like your master. As he finishes his statement, Sakura starts feeling high levels of anger and hate. Sakura's eyes are turning red. As she picks herself from the floor, Akuma feels her energy as she rises from the ground, and he states, Yes, feel the killing intent welling up within you, and its darkness washing over you. Tell me, how something real proclaims to be wrong could feel so very right? Again, in this moment, Akuma gives some heavy Palpatine vibes in this part of the comic. As he comments, we can see Sakura using her power pose, and throws a Hadouken to Akuma, in which he intercepts and calmly says, Perhaps there is hope for you yet. Akuma, while throwing the same Hadouken back to Sakura, says, But you have only had a taste of the Dark Hado. There is much left to learn before you will master it. He performs the Hadouken, hitting Sakura and hurting her on the way. As she is lying on the floor, she feels she has failed her master when she says, Master Ryu, I've failed you. She feels the deep sadness, as she cannot believe she had fallen victim to the Dark Hado. Akuma's mind games debilitated Sakura physically and mentally. Akuma, while seeing Sakura defeated in the floor, he tells her, No, it is Ryu who has failed you. You have felt the ecstasy of the Satsui no Hado, and now know that it is Ryu who has deprived you of the true growth. Is it not time for you to choose your own path? Sakura rises from the floor and says, No, I could never betray Master Ryu. As she stays looking around, she sees that Akuma has vanished from her sight. Sakura looks at her hand with a puzzled face. Is she looking with concern for her well-being? I mean, I think Sakura understands that that moment tapped in the potential for more power. Is she looking at her hand, maybe having second thoughts about the Dark Hado? She seems as if she had filled her master, but we need to recognize that her master, as she states, was also consumed by the Dark Hado. So, in a sense, he also failed when he gave in into the Dark Hado. 
in my opinion. What Akuma wants is for fighters like Sakura and Ryu to ignore everything they have been taught. And by only breaking the norm, they will achieve their higher greatness. I personally think Akuma sees the Dark Hado as a source of power that gives him amazing abilities, in which he wants other fighters to learn as well. Will we see Sakura as a potential apprentice of Akuma? Can Akuma be looking for his future substitute? Will she forsake her master? I will leave those questions for you to decide. From a video game perspective, I find it cool having a version of the Dark Sakura in future games. And if not a character, maybe she can turn into this dark version while her V-trigger is at its full. Karen Kansuki was in its origins featured in Sakura Kanbaru, a Street Fighter manga series written and illustrated by Masahiko Nakahira in 1996. The story of this manga is based on Sakura's journey into becoming a street fighter and having the chance to meet you. The Sakura Kanbaru manga takes place in the Street Fighter Alpha series. Karen Kansuki became part of the Street Fighter playable roster in the Street Fighter Alpha 3 series. Karin is Sakura's rival. She is also ahead of the Kansuki Saibatsu. Saibatsu, translated in English to financial clique, is a Japanese term referring to industrial and financial, vertically integrated business conglomerates in the Empire of Japan, whose influence and size allowed control over significant parts of the Japanese economy from the Meiji period until the end of World War II. The creation of Karin Kansuki can be attributed to Masahiko Nakahira. Masahiko is mostly recognized with Street Fighter related jobs. He is the creator of the following characters that Capcom added in the official Street Fighter lore afterwards, Kami White's Delta Red members, and is the creator of Evil Ryu. Other aspects of Nakahira's manga were incorporated into the games, such as the Shin Shoryuken and the Kase no Kobushi. Karen Kazuki's character is based on Japanese manga and anime's concept of Ojo, or mostly known as rich princesses, who are the heirs of family fortunes in today's modern settings. Ojo is the title given to a daughter of a king or its equivalent monarch. Karin's rich schoolgirl depiction is based on the character Blair Warner of a 1980s private all-girls school sitcom series called The Facts of Life. The Facts of Life is an American television sitcom created by Dick Clare and Jenna McMahon and a spin-off of Different Strokes that originally aired on NBC from August 24, 1979 to May 7, 1988, making it one of the longest-running sitcoms of the 1980s. The portrayal of Lisa Welchel's Blair Warner character is said to have influenced manga and anime settings of high school into the 1990s, with the great influx of interest of American media into Japan during the 1980s. Blair's rich and influential background make her take interest in Japanese culture as per the American culture climate at the time, especially amongst big business and corporate lifestyles due to the 1980s Japanese bubble womb economy. Karin Kasuki's appearance has a similar outfit to Sakura, complete with Sailor Fuku, except hers is predominantly red and white with a blue ball tie. She utilizes her blonde hair into long, oversized Victorian European style ringlets, giving Karin her fancy and flashy look with two small forelocks and braids encircling her head, and occasionally wears a blue bow in the back. She wears black shorts and completes her outfit with matching black socks and red boots. She also wears brown fingerless gloves. Her alpha appearance became her nostalgia costume in the Street Fighter V. In Street Fighter V, her outfit appearance has been altered from her original school uniform into a business outfit, but still has a resemblance to the original in palette and design. She wears a red long sleeve jacket with a blue frill shirt and white frill folded sleeves underneath and a white ascot tie at the center of her collar, a red frill skirt and black tights. Her first alternate costume consists of a black turtleneck dress and matching black flats. She also wears a matching black watch on her right wrist and a silver necklace on her neck with the emblem of her family. Her ribbon is pink. Her second alternate costume is mostly identical to her main outfit but with a pink sweater vest on her top, white frilled skirt, and white tights. Her boots are red and white. Her hairstyle remains the same, but in a full fringe along with longer ringlets. Karin's laugh and mannerisms are derived from the unpleasant ojo stereotypes common in white anime and manga, as well as the rich person, popular schoolgirl, spoiled brat stereotypes of Western fiction. While she typically remains snobbish, 
Other aspects of her personality can vary wildly in other media. Karin's iconic laugh is acted by Miho Yamada. Who is Karen's voice in Namco X Capcom, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Capcom Fighting Evolution, Aya Endo in Street Fighter 5, <laughs> and in the English version, Lauren Landa. I'll show you the divide in our class. In Namco X Capcom, Karin is calmer, more level headed and cynical and serves as the voice of reason for the impulsive Sakura, though she still retains her trademark laugh and condescending comments during battle sequences. On the other hand, in the Uran comics, she is extremely hateful and competitive to the point of obsessiveness, making her much more of an antagonist. Throughout the franchise, she does retain her mannerisms and snobbiness and a habit of acting before thinking, typical of some rich girls in fictional media. Karin usually refers to other people as commoners or inferiors. She lives by her family's motto, more than the rest of her family, as she takes majority control of her father's company from under his nose in a hostile takeover. After Karin finds and eventually defeats Sakura in a rematch, she feels that she won only by chance and finally admits that Sakura is actually the best of them. Karin then decides to ditch her family's motto of always winning, at least when concerning martial arts and starts to praise fighting itself as more important than a victory or defeat, showing a bit of humility. In Street Fighter V, her character has somewhat changed. As a new head of the Kansuke Saibatsu, she is proper and polite at all times, but her snobby demeanor has been replaced, to a degree, by new respect towards her opponents, and an interest in new unique fighting styles, while still capable of making unflattering comments towards them. If they don't meet her expectations, she seems to have lived up to her previous realization that it is the challenge, not the victory, that's important. Karin Gansuki uses her own style martial arts, also known as the Gansuki Ryu, which refers to an original martial arts style created by Karin Gansuki. According to the Sakura Ganbaru manga, Gansuki Ryu Kakuto Jutsu is actually a combination of various martial arts, including Karate, Judo, Aikido, Sambo, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, Amateur Wrestling, Bai Shuang, Kopo, Shaolin Kung Fu, Tai Chi Shuang, Bagua Shang, and Bigua Shuang. So what did you like about Sakura? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the center stage.